what's going on everybody welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at five winnipeg jets that you may have forgotten about i've made a couple videos you know i guess you could say it's a series now uh looking back at winnipeg jets that maybe you've forgotten about and i go through five usually in the video that's what i'm going to do again today so we'll be up to 15 winnipeg jets you forgot about so if you want to go back look at the old videos you're more than welcome to go take a look on the channel uh they're very fun so without further ado let's get on into this one so we're going to start off with number 23 defenseman jay harrison Harrison was one of those defensemen that was probably, you know, more suited for the bottom pair, and that's where he played a lot of his career with the Carolina Hurricanes and the Toronto Maple Leafs, more so known as a hurricane throughout his years. He was having a pretty good season with the Carolina Hurricanes in the 2014-2015 season. However, the Winnipeg Jets were depleted on the defensive end, and they really needed some help as they were actually, you know, putting together a pretty good team. They looked like they were going to be a playoff team, but they needed somebody to step in because they were running out of defensemen. Everybody was hitting the IR and Jay Harrison was acquired by Winnipeg. He stepped in really nicely. I mean, he played 35 games for Winnipeg, bridged that gap until everybody was back healthy, and did a great job. I think, honestly, he probably could have, you know, played over guys like Adam Party and, you know, players of that caliber that year. He had five points in those 35 games, so definitely not known for his points or anything, but stepped up where it mattered. Jay Harrison is probably known best for when he went after Daniel Carcillo and totally ragged on him. I mean, he was just pumping this dude. And that was, you know, in re retaliation to Matthew Perot being cross-checked in the arm and, you know, being out for some time. So hats off to Jay Harrison protecting his teammates. Next up on the list here, we've got a guy that was actually really well known in his first year in Winnipeg, but I feel like nobody really talks about him anymore. And that's Kyle Wellwood. Bellwood was drafted in the fifth round, 134th overall by the Toronto Maple Leafs. This was actually in the same draft as Jay Harrison, so that's kind of funny actually, just realizing that now. Wellwood was one of the original Winnipeg Jets 2.0 players as, you know, in 2011-2012, he was actually one of their better players. He got overlooked a little bit because of the lad little Wheeler line and, you know, how, you know, just those guys were our big stars, right? You can throw Dustin Bufflin in there, Andre Pavlik to an extent, but Kyle Wellwood was that second line player, uh, you know, playing with Evander Kane sometimes, you know, just kind of all over there. And he put up a really good first year in Winnipeg, 77 games, 47 points that earned him a new contract. And in 39 games played, he did regress a little bit with the Jets and he only had 15 points in that lockout season. With the steep regression, Winnipeg did not re-sign him the next season, and he did not play in the NHL, as in the 2013-14 season, he went to go play in the Swiss League. Wellwood had a really solid career, 489 NHL games with 235 points, nothing to scoff at there, great career for Kyle, and he's always going to be remembered in Winnipeg as one of the originals in the 2.0 era. Moving on, we got one of the scariest men to ever play for the Winnipeg Jets, and that's Anthony Peluso. Now, this guy, mainly, you know, fringe NHL guy, fourth liner, but the one thing he brought to the table was his fists. This guy was terrifying. I never remember Peluso doing anything except fighting, and in his, you know, three seasons with Winnipeg, I, I guess four if you count the five games there at the end of the 2012-2013 season, um, that, that's all I remember. He didn't do anything except beat the hell out of guys. He was very good at it, but really did not get out there and play a ton, and you did not want him to play a ton, my, my, may I add as well. You just want him out there to protect the guys. That's what he was. He was terrifying. 6'3", 225 pounds fists like bowling balls man i don't know one of the most terrifying players ever winnipeg jets had him until the 2015-16 season he appeared in a couple of nhl games with the washington capitals in the 17-18 season and with the calgary flames for four games in 18-19 in his career he put up 148 nhl games put up 14 points four goals 10 assists and 220 penalty minutes what a career anthony peluso now next up, we've got a guy that I always really liked on the Jets, number 15, Matt Halischuk. Halischuk played for the New Jersey Devils early on in his career, as that's who he was drafted by in the fourth round, 117th overall, but only played 21 games for them. He would actually end up playing for the Nashville Predators in the 2010-2011 season, where he would break out into a full-time NHLer, putting up 12 points and looking pretty impressive. He proved to be a pretty solid bottom six player with the Nashville Predators, made his way to Winnipeg, and he was just, you know, just that. Basically just a fourth liner for the Jets, didn't really do a whole lot, but the one thing with Matt Halischuk that we have to remember, and the thing that he's most known for, was the World Junior Championships in 2008, scoring the golden goal for Canada. The game winner, Matt Halischuk. Did you know that? 
I didn't know that up until recently. Matt Halischuk, one of the Canadian greats, maybe more so known for that than ever playing really in the NHL. So shout out to Matt Halischuk for, you know, bringing home the gold for Canada. In his NHL career, Halischuk put up 280 games played, 75 points, and was just a really solid bottom sixer. So hats off to Matt Halischuk on a very nice career. Now, in Winnipeg, we've been blessed with goaltending as of late, obviously having Connor Hellebuck, one of the best in the world, but one guy that came up and looked like he was going to be Hellebuck before Hellebuck was even around was Michael Hutchinson. Hutchinson kind of played a 1A, 1B kind of thing with Andre Pavlik for a little bit, where he was actually really damn good for a stretch and a big reason why the Jets got to the playoffs in the 14-15 season. He started going on this weird tear where he was just playing lights out all the time. He had two shutouts that season, two 3-9 goals against average with a 9-14 save percentage. The guy was out of his mind. Winnipeg obviously wasn't the you know greatest sound defensive team in the world either at that time so he was really standing on his head all the time. It was really impressive to see, and that was the first, you know, elite goaltending we've seen in Winnipeg. Pavlik was always, you know, good or bad, <laughs> uh, but never really that great, and Hutchinson for a period of time was the hot hand for Winnipeg and a big reason why they made the playoffs that year. However, in the playoffs, he would not play. I mean, he went on a little bit of a streak where he played poorly at the end of the season. Andre Pavlik picked up the slack and actually led the Jets into the playoffs. Uh, but Hutch definitely had a helping hand with that. So, you know what? Hats off to Hutch. What a season 21, 10, and 5 in that 2014 15 season. We will always remember that year, but maybe we won't remember Michael Hutchinson so much. After that, he did play for the Jets for a few years as primarily a back of goalie, 2.84 goals against average and a 2.9 two goals against average in the following two seasons he was not that great barely over you know uh, 900 safe percentage as well in those seasons and I don't know he was just kind of all over the place went down to the Manitoba Moose played there for a little bit came up for the Jets played a few games but realistically at this point he started to fall off he ended up just being kind of a fringe NHL goaltender playing you know backup roles for teams kicking around at the deadline as you know a black ace goaltender and ultimately to this day now being a AHL goaltender seemingly full-time as I don't think that he'll get another chance in the NHL but that is the video a little bit different here just something fun to throw out there right now is the Winnipeg Jets you know having a great season just wanted to throw something different your guys's way I haven't done one of these in a while so I hope you guys enjoyed leave a comment down below if I missed anybody throw your niche Jets player down below and I'm sure we'll have fun in the comments but with that guys thank you so much for watching as always leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already more Jets content on the way here but that's going to do it for me thanks so much for watching again go Jets go bye bye